on a typical winter, fall, spring day, about 30 to 32. We're not wealthy. <laughs>「On Tuesday nights we provide soup, two soups and chili and all the bread and desserts and stuff that go with it. Uh, and, and we started it around thinking people who want ball games in town, going home from work, you know, wouldn't it be nice in the middle of the week you didn't have to cook? So we have these from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock and every event we have is a donation only and if you, nobody knows who donates and who doesn't, but uh, so it's available. We have takeouts. We deliver if we know of people who are uh, shut-ins or, or just aren't up to making it out. So we deliver to them and no charge. It's a social event. It gets pretty loud because that's Tuesday night. Everybody comes. They have their tables. And, you know, sometimes they don't know when it's time to go home. But it's all right. It's a pretty joyful. <laughs> Give them the lights, right? Put out the cat. <laughs> but uh, it can, in, the, in winter when it's really bad, maybe only 50. And other times 75, 80. So we make four gallons of chili, four gallons of, of or eight gallons of soup. And it, the soups vary every week. And so does the chili because different people make it each week. I think our mission, St. Mark's mission, is to live by example. And they... I hope they're seeing what this kind of life can be and how we can support one another. And the giving that the church does is really, particularly if it's within the community, we don't want anybody to feel they're beholden to us. You know, when, when you borrow money from somebody and then you, you have this, so that's why we don't, want our, we don't want people to know where it came from because then they'd feel an obligation or beholden to you know, us and, and it's not us. It's upstairs. I think, I think this group has always been a prayer group from long before I was here. It, that's the, I think that's what makes us just an, a unique family. I mean, you really feel like family, but we can be honest with one another. And it's not like you're in a um, uh, repentant thing where you have to get up and share your sins, although that might be interesting. But I, but if you've got a, an issue in your life, whether it's a joy or if it's a concern or, uh, or a heartache, you can share it here and they will pray you through it. And, and, and they're not hovering over you, but you know when they go home and they say their prayers at night or when they wake up in the morning, that you're probably near that top of that list. And you can be completely honest without feeling like you're being judged. And I think it's because everybody dares do it that it makes it it's genuine and safe. The whole congregation was aware of, of, of the Cantor congregation was aware of what his journey was going to be. And to watch him, he was so excited. He's 11 years old, so old enough to know. And um, it was just like, Welcome, 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 and we'll get you through it.